Welcome to a brief tutorial on how to use scale ammunition casings from autoloader decals. So when you get your casings um, from me, they're going to look like this. They're going to come on a support sprue. And they may not look like much now, but that's because the first thing we have to do is prime them. So if you want them to look metallic, like brass casings, the first thing you need to do is take any kind of black primer. The kind is pretty irrelevant. You can use your favorite. And either spray bomb or airbrush it onto the sports sprue. It's easier to do the shells while they're still on the sprue. After you let the primer dry, then you have to use any kind of paint. It doesn't matter which type, if you want to have a different hue to the brass or other such casing material, you can use any paint. In this case, I am using Tamiya Acrylic Gold. It's worth noting that airbrushing will be the easiest way to paint your ammunition. However, again, you can use other forms. You can even brush paint them if you're willing to take the time. After you're done airbrushing, you'll need to wait a little bit and let them dry off. Now, once your paint is dry, then you'll have to remove your casings. To do this, you simply want to take a sharp knife, scalpel, or saw, and you're essentially going to want to cut them off at the base between the support and the actual rim of the casing. Once you've done this, and you can also snap them off as well, you'll need to adhere them to your model. In this case, we're using a basic Tamiya T55 as an example. What you want to do is you want to use some sort of contact adhesive. It doesn't matter if it's CA glue or PVA glue, in this case we're using PVA glue, or even clear varnish. Using tweezers, it's easiest to simply paint an area with glue first and then attach your shell casing. When you do them individually, this gives you the opportunity to really tell a bit of a story with your placement of the casings and add, you know, some visual interest to your model. Once you are done, let the glue dry. And once you are satisfied with your results, you can also add a clear or matte varnish on top. And this is what they will look like. Thank you for watching.